When you ask what Ephesus is like, uh, actually it's very difficult to say because there are about eight or nine different Ephesuses, uh, depending on what era you're talking about. Originally the city uh, was located around the great temple to Artemis, which was northwest somewhat of the ruins that you see today. And then later on in the New Testament times, they had moved around the great theater area, which is further south, uh, next to a mountain range that rims Ephesus off from the rest of Asia Minor. The largest theater in the ancient world, 24,000 seats, was located on the brow of a, a rise overlooking a beautiful valley going down to the Keister River Valley out to the Aegean. 24,000 seats. It's a, an amazing acoustical marvel as well. And it's still there. Uh, basically, some of the seats have been rebuilt somewhat, but it's a, a thrilling example of how good ancient acoustics were. You know, sometimes I wonder, how could Jesus feed the 5,000 and then even talk to them? Very often you talk in a church, and if it's more than 100 people or so, you need a PA system in a square room, rectangular room. But Every time I take a tour there, I have a woman with the weakest voice in the orchestra area. And those of us who want to climb to row X, Y, and Z at the top of that theater have no trouble communicating in a normal voice without benefit of electronics. It works. Somehow it works. The, the, the parabolic uh, uh, curve of the theater e emphasize the sounds of the human voice. It works. We hear each other perfectly. It's an amazing phenomenon.